Uh, this is Lillian, the Fire X Mom. I'm a citizen journalist and I'm actually here by the full side of my apartment to test out the tripod that I have and also to test the remote control of my camera. Rehearsing for being a stand up so that uh, whenever we are called to do an assignment, we are comfortable with looking at the camera and talking to it. And at the same time, I'm also testing out my tripod um, because there are so many levers and so many knobs. It is very scary when I go to a function where all the professional reporters, photographers are there and I'm struggling with the right button to twist and turn. Okay, uh, this is the book that I'm reading currently and um, it is called, of course, Who Moved My Cheese? I bought it because um, I'm curious to find out what's so great about a thin little book with very large fonts and it cost me $29.90. So after reading half of it at the hairdresser, I find that there's nothing special about it. It's uh, nothing new to me because it's talking about change and how we must embrace change. Okay, let's talk about the hairdresser experience. Just now when I was at the hairdresser, I was sitting in uh, this hairdresser place with about six women and I really um, feel lost even though I'm a woman because they are talking about things that uh, seems very tribal to me and I go, I mean, what the hell, what's the big deal about certain things and they were talking about their relationships and they were talking about their skin and they're talking about the style of hair they want and so on and there are so many terms that I have never heard of like they want their hair to be steam, they want to get their hair ironed and they want to reborn and they want to lengthen whatever that is all so foreign to me and I realize that I am such a freak because I merely go in, sit down and tell the hairdresser I want to cut my hair really short and that's that but I really wonder if something is very wrong with me because I do not have that kind of urge to tell the hairdresser oh I want it such style and so on so every time when I go to the hairdresser I came out feeling inadequate because while the others are talking about beauty and so on I have really nothing to do except to read my book quietly and uh, hoping that it will be over soon it's like an agony to be in the hairdresser to be at the hairdresser I think after this experience of talking to the camera all alone by the pusa in my apartment, I would have overcome the fear of being a stand-upper. Because sometimes when we citizen journalists go out in a group and we want to uh, make a documentary, we'll be asking each other to do the stand-upper. And sometimes because of the, the not, not to say fear, but the hang-up of being a stand-upper, we usually end up having no stand up at all but um, I think in order to make an effective uh, documentary sometimes we have to show our face even though it may not be the most handsome face or the most uh, the pretty or gorgeous uh, female presenter that you are used to we have to do it to be able to give people the assurance that yes we were there yes we filmed it and we, we saw the thing and that's why we are reporting it so I suppose I have overcome the fear of being a stand-upper. Let's talk about swimming. Um, I think a lot of people have fears of water, they dare not swim. Some of them are even so afraid that they won't go to uh, holidays where they need to take boat rides and so on. But I love swimming and I think I learned swimming when I was about 17 or 18. And it was just an opportunity for us to go to the pool and then we just jump in and there was this uh, um, coach, I think he's a coach, I don't even know who, who he is except that he was willing to coach us girls so uh, we just let him uh, teach us and at that time probably there was like 20 years ago there was some, such a thing as uh, sexual harassment there aren't uh, fears of uh, being molested and we were more trusting so what I did was to just go into the pool and this um, swimming coach would be holding us at the bottom to let us float and, and we do not care whether he's uh, touching us unnecessary or what because all we wanted to do was to learn to swim and swim I did and this is the first time I couldn't care less 
all I want to do is just to talk to the camera, test out my mic and make sure that I know how how the tripod works, what each button is for. So I suppose I have uh, achieved all that and thanks for watching the 5X Mum Talking Cock Show.